story spectacular. Today's show is titled The Mischievous Fairy Island. If you enjoy this episode, remember to subscribe to Story Spectacular on Apple Podcasts. Who wants a story? Welcome to Story Spectacular, the podcast for tamer car rides, relaxing bedtimes, or for when you just need a break with a fun story. I'm your host, Angie. Today, we're going on an adventure with a silly dog named Bo to the mischievous fairy island. Do you think we will see some fairies? I hope so. Let's begin our story now. The Mischievous Fairy Island It all began with a long car ride. I drove hour after hour with Bo at my side. I had a camera, a spyglass, and a trail guide. Tonight was the night we would prove fairies are alive. Creeping over the bridge, the island in sight, I glanced at Bo. His tail wagged with delight. We passed through the gate and took a sharp right. It was near dusk, the time that fairies take flight. Hopping out of the car, my spyglass in hand, I took a deep breath, then Bo and I began. Right away we could see shining mica in the sand. This is the way many fairies like to mark their land. Through the woods and down the path feeling wary, we came upon the home of the rocky beach fairies. If you quickly grab a seashell and turn it on its side, you may just find a fairy trying to hide. Back to the trail, we found an open meadow where the sneaky fairies play hide and seek in the shadow. They are easy to spot. You can see their light flicker. Bo tried to catch one, but the fairy was quicker. Further down, a rock wall juts out into the water. This is where the ocean fairies can find shelter. The ocean fairies fly from the east and from the west. They nestle in the cracks for some much needed rest. The trail is also home to the harvest flower fairies who spend their time gathering blossoms and berries. Some are able to carry great amounts with ease Others have trouble when the flowers make them sneeze. <laughs> the carpenter fairies live just around the bend. They are the hardest working of all the fairies with many homes to build and mend. You too can build a fairy house if you have a hand to lend. As we crossed the footbridge, Bo began to fuss. We both knew there were fairies among us. No ordinary fairies, very different you see. They were the mischievous fairies, as tricky as can be. Step after shaky step, I heard the branches crack and creak. I felt an acorn strike my head, and I let out a shriek. Yikes! There were giggles and chuckles, snickering and laughter. A fairy swooped in and batted Bo with a clobber. 
It took off flying and Bo chased after. No, Bo, no, I hollered, but it was no use. Bo was a mad dog, a mad dog on the loose. I chased them until they were out of my view. The fairy and Bo had disappeared. I didn't know what to do. Then suddenly, a noise came from further down the trail. It was Bo letting out a victorious wail. I ran up to him and guess what I saw? Bo had the fairy trapped under his paw. The fairy shook and thrashed, but to no avail. I smiled at Bo as he wagged his tail. Finally, proof, a fairy we had trapped. I took out my camera and gave it a snap. We let the fairy go, then reached the trail's end, climbed into the car, and drove around the bend. I stopped at the bridge to examine my photo, but before my eyes, the fairy vanished. Oh, no. I sighed and placed my camera back into the pack. As I drove on, I took a glance back. Imagine that, Bo, I said with a smile. A whole fairy world on a tiny little aisle. Wow, I had so much fun visiting the mischievous fairy island. If you like today's fairy expedition, then go to storyspectacular.com slash bloggy to learn more about the real island that inspired today's tale. You will find photos and links on how to build your own fairy house. Exploring new places and meeting new friends is so fun. Let's meet another new friend. It's time for Animail, where we read listener mail from our animal friends. Animail! Today's Animail comes from our listener, Chaz the Chipmunk. Chaz writes, Dear Angie and friends, I live in a magical part of the forest. In fact, I live in the same forest grove where the teddy bears come to have their picnic. You see, normally when I hear the march of the teddy bears coming towards my home, I run and hide. Teddy bears are very loud and they get into a lot of shenanigans. But after I heard the story about what really goes on at the teddy bear picnic, I decided not to be afraid and hide. Instead, I joined in the picnic festivities. One big and friendly teddy bear even let me borrow a pair of teddy bear ears and then gave me some acorn candy. It was the best picnic ever. I can't wait to visit with the teddy bears again, and I also can't wait to hear more episodes of Story Spectacular. Signed, Chaz the Chipmunk. Thank you for the listener mail, Chaz. I'm glad you were able to have fun with the teddies. Looking forward to reading more animal from our animal listeners soon. Animal! What a magical show we had today. Along with a silly dog named Bo, we explored the mischievous fairy island. We were able to see all kinds of fairies. It was really enchanting. Then we heard about a magical forest where Chaz the Chipmunk lives. I love exploring the outdoors, don't you? Story Spectacular Story Spectacular is written and hosted by Angela Ferrari. To learn more about the show and to purchase original children's books, go to storiespectacular.com. If you enjoyed the episode, subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts. While you're there, you can leave a rating and review. This helps our show climb the charts so that others can discover spectacular stories too. Thanks for listening. Woo-hoo!